Welcome back to the spoken tutorial of Adobe PageMaker 7.0. In the previous tutorial, we studied about the control palette, the elements on the control palette, and how to modify objects by using the control palette. In this session, we will be studying how to work with objects by arranging them. It is useful for modifying and editing pictures and hence for making the picture as we like. First of all, we will be creating a new file by going into the file menu and clicking on new. The file is as shown in the picture. First, we will be drawing some objects. We will be drawing some of the rectangles and squares and also some of the ellipses and the circles. You can draw the picture of your choice. Now, to work with the objects, we have to go into the element menu and then go into the arrange option. There are various options available, bring to front, bring forward, send backward and send to back. Here each of the function will be explained. First, to make any changes to an object, we have to select that object. So, we will be going into the point toolbar and then selecting the object. Now, we can make any changes that we want. We will go into the element menu. Click on Arrange. The Bring to Front option will make the rectangle in front of the circle. Send to Back will move it backward. Similarly, Bring Forward and Send Backward option will work. Now, we will be seeing different other options such as Alignment. There are various options available for alignment. For aligning one, two or more objects, we have to first select those objects. So, first of all, click on the pointer menu, click on the object, press shift, and then click on the other object that you want to align. Go into the element menu. We have, you can see that the align objects option can now be seen dark which was earlier light. This is because we have selected two or more than two objects. The Align Objects menu would not be available if only one object is selected. You can even align objects by pressing Shift plus E key. On selecting Align Objects option, a pop-up menu will appear. Here, there are many options available. Either you can align the objects vertically or horizontally. Even in alignment, there are two options. You can either align or distribute your object. If we select none in both of them, the objects will be as it is. A preview is already available on the screen. For aligning as we want, we have to select one from the horizontal and one from the vertical side. According to your selection, the preview will be seen. For example, here we have aligned the left sides of the items and vertically we have distributed it within bounds. Clicking on OK option will make the changes to the object. As you can see, the left hand sides of the objects are aligned and the objects are within the boundaries. For making Different changes, you have to go down again to the element menu, go into the align objects option and then make the desired changes. The align object can also work with three objects, four objects, depending upon what you want. This was all about arranging objects. Hope you enjoyed with our tool. Keep practicing. Thank you.